Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you have not already, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Become part of the family before you go. My mom and I just got back from Trader Joe's. We are prepping for Christmas. Well, I am. I just asked her to come along for the ride and she came. It was her first time going actually, but I had to get some stuff for Christmas. So I'm gonna show you those clips in just a little bit. But first, DIY dad and I, we have a message for you. Um, They mixed up all of our bags. Not mixed it up, like I just did it all in one order. So now my mom's trying to find her stuff in there. I can't find anything. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're gonna go see DIY Dad. I also have to pick up from when we had dinner here. I left like some pots, pots and dishes and stuff. So I'm just stopping at mom and dad's real quick. Oh yay. <laughs> Luckily, since it's icy and freezing outside, I could just leave the groceries in the car because it's like a natural refrigerator. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it was just a little bit of water. Oh my god, now you dropped the meat. <laughs> What's going on? What Hi. the heck are you doing? <laughs> playing cash man. Oh yeah? That's right. You're playing it and real lotto? I never win on lotto. I gotta play cash man. That's why I win. Today's video is sponsored by Cashman Casino. So thank you so much to them for working with me. You can support my channel by installing the game with the link in my description. What better person to bring this in than with my dad because he is in love with this game, you guys. My mom's been sending me pictures that he's been playing all the time. All right, so I've been playing Cashman Casino, right? It's got over 80 games. It's amazing. It even has AMC The Walking Dead. It's his favorite it? show. Unbelievable. <laughs> I think I maybe played seven or eight of them crazy. Yeah, I have it on my phone too, and it's actually a lot of fun. I'm usually not into like things like that, but this game is fun because they give you so many free things every single day. It keeps you like wanting to come back. AMC Walking Dead is a game in the casino. Buffalo Gold, that's, I always play that at, mm -hmm. at a casino, and it's in here. On your and, phone. And you're on your phone, you're sitting home, and you're relaxed. You know, you're sitting here with COVID, you can't go with out social anyway. Social distancing. Yeah. I can't go to the casino. It's so much fun. So in this slot machine, some of these spots have a bingo chip, and it keeps building up. Like here's one here, 4.8. See the chip jumped up. And then once you get a row, you hit bingo. It includes the newest free Vegas slots and it also has all of the classic slot machines. Did you know this, Dad? Did you know that they have a Facebook club? Really? You're going to have to get on that. Oh boy, I got to join that. Which is just basically a social club that you can make friends to compete with. You might find my dad on there. So you can play the exclusive games, strike gold with huge jackpots in Where's the Gold Hot Casino slots. So you guys, download Cashman Casino with the link in my description and get 2 million coins if you're a new player. It's Trader Joe's time, everybody. Let's do it. It's been a while. Honestly, I really only need some things for Christmas, so I'm not gonna go crazy. Mom's first time, though. You've never been to Trader Joe's. I'm smiling. So, I'm like, uh, so exciting. <laughs> Avocados, please. This is the best cheese ever. Cheddar and gyro. Gyro. What else do we want on the charcuterie board? English coastal cheddar. cheddar that one's so good. Yeah. Wisconsin sharp. Okay, let's do this one. Pepper Jack. Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, here's one. It's organic, but. Oh, look, they have them already sliced. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that. No, I kind of want to do it myself. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Havarti with dill? Sounds interesting. Do you like brie? I don't really like brie. No, I'm not a fan. Me either. A lot of yeah. people love it, which is weird. Yeah. yeah. I want potatoes? No, but for you. I mean, you like the little baby potatoes? Oh, the little babies? Yeah, I'll take them. Sure. I know, really. You shopping with me? Quite honestly, you guys, my first time making a charcuterie board, so I need to get, um, oh, fresh rosemary, too. That'll make it look pretty. But we're gonna see how it comes out. I'm, I don't have too high of hopes. I also am obsessed with their sourdough bread. Where is it? Oh, I love this bread. It's so good. You got it for me. Somewhere. Oh, it's so good. I'm getting both of them, and I'm gonna freeze it. Isn't this a drawer? I don't know. Oh, this one says December 25th, though. I bet the other one says it, too. Or I, let me not be excessive. One is fine. One is fine. <laughs> and bam, $135 later, we're good. <laughs> wow. That's funny. Still recruiting in the back seat. No, look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, I just got home and I want to show you guys what we got, but we have to leave really quick because Zane's little sister is having like a little school concert where you sit in your car, you're not allowed to like get out, so only one car per family. So just our little family is going in um, the car <laughs> to. Um, it's like a pre-recorded thing, like with the winter concert with like Christmas songs or something like that. So we're just gonna go support his little sister for a little bit, but I just put away like the frozen stuff and the stuff that has to go in the fridge. So we're gonna break for that. I think we're gonna go out to eat, and then later when we get home, I'll show you what we got from Trader Joe's. Oh yeah, it's cool, and they set this up like this. Yeah, I know. Oh look, it's the fly Oh wow, it's good quality. I was worried there was gonna be like static and stuff. Oh, somebody got it before you. <laughs> Park the horn. All right. Whoever, whoever lives right over here is pissed. <laughs> They're just gonna hear honking all night. <laughs> Realize just how dangerous our concerts could have been. So this year, we created a video of your children singing and playing safely. Bellies are so full, and now I'm gonna show you what I got from Trader Joe's. I'm actually gonna show Zane at the same time. So, I'll be a surprise to both of us. Well, both you and Zane, not me. I know what I got. I got it. What a mess in the background. How did that just fall? <laughs> he was sitting on top of it, and he chased <gasps> after one of the cats. He like kicked it off. Oh my god. <laughs> I got so confused, I thought I did that. Also, I definitely put everything away in the fridge and freezer while we left, and then I came back and I took it out so that I could show you guys from the bag. Did you really? Yes. That's dedication. I know, I'm just very dedicated. Alright, let's see it. Okay. Here's some frozen things that were not for the Christmas list, but they sounded good. Just some shredded potatoes. To fry up in the pan, you know, mm -hmm. maybe in the air fryer. Just good to have. I make fresh potatoes, but you know, sometimes you're lazy and you don't want to. These I got last time. You can't have these, baby. These have sesame. Okay. But they're chicken pot stickers. They are so good. Throw them in the air fryer. I got some more cauliflower gnocchi because it's just good. Fire. Good to have. And I wanted to try this Mexican style roasted corn with cojita cheese. You might like this. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it doesn't have anything yeah, in it. Looks delicious. I like to try their frozen stuff because it's usually good. Okay. That's all the frozen. You like my little setup with the mesh? Yeah. <laughs> Next, we have some stuff that was in the fridge. So I got these. I'm making a charcuterie board with like cheese and crackers and meat. And then I'm going to put some grapes to make it look pretty. Some, cool, yeah. Some grapes. And then for what recipe did I need this for? The cheesecake or the hot chocolate? Something that I'm making. I needed heavy whipping cream. I need sour cream for the cheesecake. I just got this because it was really, really good the last time we had it. Oh yeah, that was really the good. The shaved beef steak is a bomb, you guys. In ramen or the leftovers, remember we just like fried it up in the yes. pan? It was so Super good. Super good. I got these for the charcuterie board. It's um, prosciutto and sliced salami. Oh, spicy salami. Mix, like wrapped around mozzarella. Cool, yeah. They're like That's little really pre-made sticks. Usually, I, you know, seasoned charcuterie board makers would like make their own, like wrap their own prosciutto, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> so gonna be bomb. Yeah. Oh, I got a, a little presents for you, so. Actually? Yeah, but not right now. Like they're gonna go in your stocking. Oh, okay. Um, Wait, so I'm gonna step over here then. Okay. I just got these kettle corn, kettle chips, not kettle corn. They're just kettle cooked. Cause I saw somebody eating them and they let us maybe want them. Someone's YouTube video. I got our favorite sourdough bread. Oh, I've been missing her. I did like the Target one, but they're both good. Wherever I am, I'm gonna grab it. And then I wanted to get, but TikTok sold them out. I don't know if you saw on hot chocolate mugs, they have little gingerbread men. I heard you talking about this. I haven't seen oh. it. Oh, the little body is cut out and it sits on the edge of the mug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. But they, the guy was like, we don't have those anymore. Like they're gone. And he saw he sold me these right in front of him. Gingerbread cookie sandwiches. Oh. They're like little cookies. I think there's like little like icing on in the inside or something. Oh my god, those are gonna be freaking good. Yeah, so I'm just gonna serve these next to the hot chocolate. People can have like hot chocolate and a cookie. I got some chocolate chips because I'm making a lot of things with chocolate chips and we have a lot, but I don't wanna run out. I'd rather have more. I got my dad some dark chocolate for Christmas. Yes, a gift for you. I got some crackers, just some like plain crackers. I know we have um, Ritz. Mm -hmm. So I just got regular plain just to put on there. They didn't have a big selection of crackers. They kind of like were sold out of all of the cool ones. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got. I got um, cocoa powder to make homemade hot chocolate. I was glad to find that there because I didn't want to go to another store. 
This I just got because it's shelf stable um, whipping cream because I feel like sometimes for recipes we need like a tablespoon and we don't have like a carton of it, but this will just sit in the pantry until we need it. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I got some more almond butter because I've just been addicted to it and like I'll show you guys a bit. Oh, maybe that's what I can show them today. My almond cup. Because mm. that sounds really good right now. Could you eat? What? You could eat? In a little bit, yeah. Like in like an hour. Do it, yeah. It's a great snack. Yeah. I haven't even tried it yet. It's really good. But it looks so good when you make it. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe I'll show you guys that. If not, I'll show it soon. But um, I got some avocados. Oh, look what my mom pointed out. Are those Yukons? They're called baby Dutch yellow potatoes. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure they're the same thing. Nice. Little baby potatoes. We don't have potatoes, so that's good. And then I personally absolutely hate olives, but my mom was like, you're gonna make a charcuterie board, you need olives. So I'm just gonna put them in the little container on the charcuterie board, because it looks pretty. And I'm sure people will eat them. I just personally won't. Do you like olives? No. Yeah, me either. I can't even remember the last time I tried it though, to be honest. I've tried them multiple times, and I just, I don't know, something about the flavor, just, I don't like them. I'll try it again. Yeah. I don't even remember what they taste like. You can try them again. Um, what else? Okay, I got some regular whipped cream to put on the hot chocolate. Very interesting packaging, but it looks good. Real cream, real vanilla, and real sugar. Right. Sounds good. I got some more unsalted butter because I'm gonna be baking, so we're gonna need some more butter. And then the rest of the stuff is for the charcuterie board, so I got just some salami and like fold it up and make it look cute. Also got, oh, this isn't for the charcuterie board, but we always want pan pancetta, we never have it. Mm -hmm. So I got some. I also got some pepperoni, real pepperoni, not turkey. And then I got a few cheeses to put on the board. I got, of course, our favorite, cheddar, cheddar and your rare. I'm gonna slice them up into little pieces. Yeah. And then I got a Wisconsin Sharp Cheddar. They didn't have a huge selection. They were kind of like out of a lot of cheeses, but I just got like different ones just to try. Oh, I got a Pepper Jack. This is organic, but that's all I had. So a Pepper Jack. You gotta have a Pepper Jack on a cheese board, right? Yeah. And then this is a new one, Havarti with Dill. Mm. You would probably hate it. <laughs> but it sounds really good and it looks good. I don't smell it. <laughs> and that's everything that I got. Nice, I got a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. I'm excited for your charcuterie board yeah i'm just gonna slice I feel like some i haven't really cheese. like thought about you making but i love cheese and crackers mm -hmm. but like you make it look pretty but it's my first time making one my sister's good at it because she worked for boar's head mm -hmm. she, she loves making charcuterie boards but it's gonna be my first time making one but i want to make it look pretty i also want to get rosemary but they didn't have any left they were sold out mm -hmm. and i need some some more almond milk i think and that's about it <gasps> Oh, I didn't even notice that. Right in the middle that whole time. That's messed up, you guys. I had a piece of parsley in my teeth that whole time. Zane just went out to drive his car around for a little bit, so I'm gonna show you what else I got for his stocking because I only have two bags of chocolate in there, and so I wanted to fill it up with a little bit more, so we got some almond butter cups, and then I got him three of these, like, meat sticks. <laughs> this is what you put in your boyfriend's stocking, okay? <laughs> They're called Chomps. One is beef original, the other one is original turkey stick, and then this one's a jalapeno beef stick. So, I'm trying to stick these in his stocking. Perfect. Is somebody turning on your show? What is that, Bench? Is your show coming on? <gasps> I'm gonna sit down and watch. Look, baby, he literally knows. <gasps> your show's coming on. <laughs> it's like Disney Channel. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. What is it, Bench? Look at his little tail, he's so excited. Benji, what is it? Whoever's pressing that is is gonna have cat hair in <laughs> on tissue paper. <gasps> Same one as yesterday? Oh. Oh, this is a different one. It's honestly nice. I kind of like it. It's like soothing to have the ambiance. Yeah. So like I don't. I don't sounds and stuff. Yeah, like I don't mind that he watches it. <laughs> it's a little funny, but. <laughs> Bailey! Bailey! Who's on TV? Oh, Dottle Goo Baby. Hi, Mama. Okay, guys. The cat 
PJs are on. I just cleaned up the kitchen, did the dishes. We are going to start Christmas prep very soon. So I want to like slowly start cleaning everything. Tomorrow I'm gonna vacuum. Today I like made sure I wanna keep up with the dishes so that we don't have like a load of them to do. I literally look like I've been so through it right now. I'm so sorry, it's been a long day. I also missed the Bachelorette season finale tonight so i'm so excited to watch that tomorrow i have to work out tomorrow so tomorrow's gonna be a busy day but i don't know what the point of me telling you that was i'm very excited to watch the bachelorette finale it's actually nice watching it the next day on hulu because I, we don't have commercials because we pay for it without commercials and it's like the best thing ever but i do like to go on twitter and like watch the live tweets come in and stuff but i just didn't tonight so i miss it The cats are going crazy. Also, I totally realized that the last vlog we wrapped presents. And I forgot to wrap Zane's that's in the fridge. So we have to wrap that as well. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this little yummy snack that I've been making recently. I also really need to wash my hair tomorrow. Please, tomorrow's going to be a self-care day. So don't walk. This little snack I've been making recently. I'm using this um, acai packet. It's like a frozen packet. I got this pack from BJ's when I went with my parents. But I actually did see them at Target when I was last there. So I'm pretty sure they have them everywhere. But they're these frozen little packets. And to thaw them out, you just run them under warm water for like a minute. So I do that. And then all you need is some vanilla almond milk or whatever. Just some milk of your choice, I guess. Some creamy almond butter. I get this one from Trader Joe's. I just got an extra one today. But I'm going to finish off this um, container that we have. And then I use... Hello. I use this... Um, nature valley protein granola you guys it's so easy it's kind of like a mini acai kind of bowl but it's so simple and like i i'm not sitting there and like blending up fruits and like cutting up fresh strawberries like no 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 this is just quick and easy lazy snack but it's so refreshing like i love it okay i ran it under the water and then i like crushed it up with my fingers it's still a little bit frozen but i kind of like it that way so I put it into this cute little mason jar. <laughs> I actually usually do it in a mug, but this just seems fun and cute and aesthetically pleasing. Try not to make a mess on the counters that you just wiped down. So we're gonna kind of crush it up a little bit because it's kind of still a little bit frozen. But you don't have to do it that much because we're about to add some almond milk. I like the flavor of the vanilla one, but do you? I don't really measure it, just a little splash. That was actually a lot. I usually don't put that much, but it's fine. Here's where if you want to put it in like a Nutribullet or a blender, you can, but I don't mind like the frozen chunks of it. So I just crush it up a little bit with the spoon. Now it looks like that. It's like a little fruit puree. Then we're going in with some almond butter. I just do like little chunks of it, just like that. Then we mix that in a little bit. I like the chunks of the almond butter. I don't like when it's like mixed in for just the flavor. Like I like the texture. So that's why I leave it a little bit chunky. I should have got the chunky almond butter today or crunchy, whatever they call it. I kind of want to try that. And then literally, wait, let me take out the spoon so it looks pretty. Now that we've got that, put some granola on there. Oh my God, the texture. Yes, so much yes. And it's not a lot. But I feel like you don't need that much. It's so sweet and like so satisfying that I feel like this is like more than enough. I just take my little tiny spoonfuls and it is such a good snack. No. Pulling your charger out of the wall has to be like top five worst things. <laughs> Especially the ones that you can't see, so you have to like just guess it. Yeah, that's the fucking... That's the part where you're like this. Are you watching TikTok? Uh, sure. Mmm, so good, you guys. The flavor of the almond butter and then the crunchiness of the granola, but then the sweetness of the acai. I don't know, something about this combination, it's like heavenly, you guys. Honestly, it really just reminds me of like the acai bowls that I get like from a restaurant or whatever a place a smoothie place and i think that's why i like it so much because it's easy and it tastes like how i get it from there and pretty good for you and simple ingredients so that's a plus okay i hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog i'm sorry if it wasn't too eventful but the day kind of got away from me because i had to edit and upload this morning so it kind of was just like a rush of a morning and then i like got ready really quick and picked up the camera and like ran you through my day so 
I hope that you enjoyed. You guys will be seeing this after Christmas, so I hope that you guys had a happy holiday, whatever you celebrate. I hope you enjoyed it, made the best of it this year. I'm so excited. The next vlog that you guys see will be um, Christmas Eve, so I'll be vlogging Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so you guys will see that coming soon. <laughs> really quick, because my camera's dying. Today's notification shout out goes to Mary Crum. She says, I love your videos. You're so sweet and you make my days better during this crazy world we live in right now. Thank you so much. That means the world to me and I'm so happy that you enjoy watching my videos. If anybody else would like a notification shout out, you can comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.